Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Let's go on my glove here. We uh we're gonna start off this morning with a empty TV set it looks like. I think this one's been oh this one's heavy. This one he's not gonna want. We're actually in the neighborhood of my TV guy. I'm hoping to meet up with him here shortly. That one's gonna be too old for him. But this one, probably not. But I'm not gonna have a chance to test this before I see him, so I'll have to have him test it for me. And say, I have not tested this. It may or may not power up. I've had a lot less luck than I thought last week getting things to power up. So hopefully that'll work, because we just got two this week for him. And they say Roku on the bottom, so I'm not sure if they're the can kinds he wants that are a brand I'm not familiar with. So, fingers crossed that works, because that uh, will certainly help out the day. I have ran a couple of neighborhoods already. And uh, as par for the course, the morning is gonna start off a little bit slow. What? So, let's hopefully fill Molly up and uh, have a productive day. Onward. I'll take it. We've uh, actually gotten a water heater from this location before. Last time we got a baby one and a big one like this. And look at this, guys. I'm being smart. I'm actually going to the back of the trailer and I'm gonna put use my ramp to slide it up there versus killing myself. You know, I keep telling you guys, I'm gonna be a little smarter. So I've gotta prove myself by actually making smart decisions every once in a while. <laughs> so we'll see if uh, we can continue to do that throughout the day. No promises, but. We don't wanna jack up that TV set. Ooh, look, a little piece of glass. That's not good. Put you up here in a bucket, too. I have a feeling that bucket's gonna fall over. What do you think? For sure, We're laying this one down to start off with because otherwise it's gonna be flying all over trying to uh, cause havoc. And we'll stand her up later on when we have a, some more stuff in the trailer. We're just gonna set it right here for now. And use this TV to kind of hold her in there nicely. Oh my gosh. So much easier putting it in like that. Wow. Look who's so smart today. Stop. Here we go. Oop, a bit of garbage. So, that's a nice weight already. Who says you can't find big stuff there early on? Ha <laughs> ha, let's go. Man, we have searched high. We have searched low. It is not scrappy out here. This chair is super light too. <laughs> wow. Well, we'll take the random chair though. Still, just the water heater. We're not taking that big old table. I have seen the large, uh, the large, not the large waist, the yard waste guys this morning would have not seen the large waste. So I'm, and seeing that, they're not been out here yet, but where's all the scrappy scrap at? I tell you, man, as soon as we get that first layer down, then it's all gonna come, but we gotta find that first layer first, I guess. Onward. I'll gladly take some staples. We actually haven't seen these in a couple of days, maybe even a couple of weeks. We were getting tons of bed frames. These are nice ones too. Still need to find myself a bed frame guy. Pay more than a scrap on these, but I currently do not have one. Slowly been picking up my contacts, but a bed rail guy I do not have yet. It is still pretty sparse out here, folks. We are almost done with this first community, which honestly normally yields a decent amount. Not today. 
we need to find the neighborhood that's got the stuff. Let's go. Certainly not oodles, but I definitely see some metal in here. Looks like someone's been here. Look at this one here. Looks like someone done tore three of the four legs off. But why didn't they take one this one? <laughs> they come right off like that. Kind of weird. Slightly bizarro. Oh, there's the legs down here. So they got ripped off and they got put in a pile. Somebody else didn't get them. I think these legs actually sell. Not, these ones aren't very high quality. I think they're called hairpin legs or something. One of the guys that I used to work with sold these on Amazon, just the legs. And people put it on a nice piece of wood and it looks kind of cool just for coffee tables and stuff. I don't know. To me, they're just scrap. Or at least today they are. Ooh. Ah, uh, they didn't leave many Reese's. Okay. I thought I saw a wire. Where'd that wire I see go? There she is. Probably a motor in there, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not cutting all that out though. Right? Actually, does it just pop out? Huh, I'll do that though. <laughs> not very heavy. I don't know if that's a electric motor or not. I'll have to check with Jeffy. Onward! All right. So I went to my TV guy, sold him my two TVs. The two that I picked up this morning, DOA. So they are no bueno. But we're gonna have a pretty nice mower here for our boy Dino. Whoosh. See? Why don't you go flat? Go flat for now, brother. Go flat, I said. You go up. There we go. Whing! There we go. All right, let's move. This is what it's come to. Stopping to look at pullets. There's a box on top of it. Just had to see if there was anything, possibly, maybe something, in the box on the toilet. Oh. The scrap is extremely elusive today. Extremely elusive. We need to uh, find some scrap, man. This is getting old. I might take the walk of shame back there. I didn't see that fan box. It does not look promising, but I wanted to stop for this one. This one, ah, oh, he's gonna be steel. Son of a gun. I don't know. Did we take that? As bad as today's been, I might take that. I don't know. Let's let's think about it for a minute while we walk all the way back here. Why do you park so far away, man? Because I like to drive you guys crazy, that's why. That's plastic. There's no fan in here, that's just cardboard. So what do you think on the tire? I think I'm just too darn lazy to cut the tire off of there. <laughs> Gonna be honest, man. <laughs> Oh, I got other thing I can clean up versus going after a $2 tire. I know, no scrap left behind, man. But tires is a completely different story. That's not, that's not the same thing. Onward. Finally, I found me some scraps. There's not much, but it's more than I've seen all day. I think it got hit under all this styrofoam. Maybe somebody missed it. I don't know. I feel like it's been a run. There's just so little scrap out here. 
Someone had to have run this, right? That can be that miserable to die. It just can't. I just don't get her. Hey, we've been very efficient though. We've clipped every wire so far. The trailer is as organized as organized can get. So there's that, right? <laughs> I don't know what this is, but I gotta look. Morning. What's that? It's a game? Oh, it's like bocce ball. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. I don't want the branches though. Bocce ball, two bocce ball. What we got in here? Some wires. No, this is not wire. This is uh, something different than wire. What we got here? What is this? Oh, this is to help you dive. This is, I don't know, it's not. This is cornhole things. I wonder if there's cornholes in that one of those bags. This is a little fin to something. A pair of water shoes. And I don't want that. We'll take the bocce ball and move on. Let's go jog back around for this one. There's all these big old boxes. I don't think he's going to have anything in it but garbage. But look at this big old TV set. This is definitely going to be too big for my guy. Right? What year is it? I don't know. But it's got the plug that he said is going to be a newer or an older TV. So I'm going to say he's not going to take it. And we own this road, that's why we're parked here in the middle of the road. Because we own it. Oh, I wish those were pots and pans. <laughs> Come on. Oh. All right, let's move on. All righty. Some shrimmies. We're into another new neighborhood. Hopefully this one will fare a little bit better than the last. This actually is the neighborhood that I used to start my run in. But I've been starting on the other side because it's been more fruitful, but that was not the case today. So we're hoping uh, this neighborhood, oh, put this back before you forget and lose it. We'll treat us well. Only time will tell, right? See, 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 you just gotta keep driving. Driving, driving, driving. Then this crap finds you. Got ourselves another table saw. I don't know if this is workable or not. I'll have to take a look. And then, besides this, that have an aluminum top to it as well. If we take that apart, and this is aluminum. But, dookie looky Americanos. I think those might be aluminum too, but maybe not because I see rust. But let's go see if we got a honey hole up here. Come on, be aluminum. Do it for daddy. Come on. Come on. Pick up three aluminum tires. That would make up for the dismal day. It's looking kind of rusty though. Inside's aluminum now. Thinkers are all metal. You mistake. So, what do we do? This one I want to take because this is the inside of this is aluminum. I'm going to have to find out what they do with this one. I'm not sure what they're going to do with this one. We're going to take that one. That's partially aluminum. Look how old that tire is. It's got a big old white wall on it. These will go as heavy? I don't know. I forget what Jeff gives me on these. These have got little tiny motors in them. Take it with something. Same thing with a weed whacker. We'll take the chairs. Oh, I was really kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of hoping that 
I would have had four aluminum tires. This is gonna be aluminum. The stick. The stick. Whew, this chair lived outside. Gross. This chair might have lived outside too. Sorry guys, I don't want you. All right, let's go. I guess it's a chair kind of day. Uh, and this one's going to be a steel variety. All these outdoor ones are aluminum, but this one is not. All right, now we're starting to make a mess. We'll probably start finding a scrap now. Especially now that it's getting windy too. Which tells me there's some weather coming. I thought it was supposed to be nice for us the week though, but could be wrong. Boom shakalaka. We got a core? Nope, the clipper's been out. But there's stuff out here. Makes me happy. All right, I barely caught this one, but we're going back for it. I know, I don't park close enough. Sue me. Back for some bed frames though. For sure's You come up here like so. You get in my trailer. Alright. Let's see if we can break these guys down. Make our life a little less complicated. I pushed the darn button. My fingers are too fat when the glove is on. Okay. One. Come on. I don't push the button. Oh. There we go. Whew. How are we trying to make things complicated? All right. Well, we're getting there. It's certainly not going to be a home run today. But I'd like to walk away with something that I can say, hey, at least we gave it a try. Onward. Oh, we'll take it. We'll take it, whatever it is. What do you got in here? Ooh. I wonder if that's brass. Ooh, that's broken. That's a broken lamp. We're not taking a lamp. Too much stuffs. That's not what they're looking for. But we will take the cord for jerseys. You get in there. You're going back. Sorry. Have a nice day. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Oh, let's check this for brass real quick. Where did it go? Where did it go? Through it and I won't pay attention and I'll throw it. Yeah, steel as steel can be. Darn fake brass. We'll take it. Ooh, this bus is hauling. Easy, Andy. Oh, ho, ho. we'll definitely take this stop. Love me some nice wires. These boxes are all empty, I can tell by the way they're blowing around. Come back over here where you belong. Got a bunch of coax in here too, but that's okay. We'll done figure her out. Mm. A couple of remotes. We'll take them. Maybe there's a Spectrum remote 
I don't know if these are any good or not. I don't know. They're in good shape though. We'll take them. All right, let's mosey on. Now that's the kind of box you want to find. Look at that. Yeah. I'll take you, thank you. Holy Toledo, we got a computer and a whole bunch of wires. Get in my trailer. Hawking the boot. Oh my gosh, you're heavy. Yes. <coughs> Whoa. I need to find two more of these and I'll be happy. Look at that. Come on. Why? Why? There we go. You better come down here so you don't fall out. Yes. I think there's a computer in here, right? Yes. That is a great find right there, folks. That makes up for the slow day. Maybe I'll, I'm not gonna make lunch, I don't think. I might clip up those cores and turn them in just so we have an idea of what the day provided. Although I normally wait to turn wires in all at once. We'll see what time I get back. We'll go from there. Onward. I guess we're getting full enough that the big stuff's gonna start coming. <laughs> we'll take a dishwasher. Yes, please. See what kind of bottom we got on this one. This is like that one we had to bash out yesterday. I'm telling you, the one video I watched, the guy, almost all the ones have like tall twisties and they fall in. We'll have to beat this one up at the yard. Take a hammer to it because it's more fun. Take out our stress of the day. Yes, sir, Bob. Let's go. I don't normally run this neighborhood, but we're on our way. I was on my way out of here and I seen myself a little grill. I seen a grill. So I swung in this neighborhood. And now we're gonna run the whole kit and caboodle. We'll run through here and see if this is viable or not can't hurt right as tough as a time we were having we decided to come on over to Tuesday's neighborhood or not Tuesday's Wednesday's neighborhood and see if we have any luck over there and can we score an aluminum hood I don't think so this one's feeling pretty heavy so I'm gonna guess you know, but we'll take it I guess running the day early is not gonna hurt us Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. We got here. Maytag. Okay. Trying to move some stuff around here a little bit. Oh, I'm not blocking it, my. Maybe. Maybe not. No, nope, they can get by. We're good. Oh gosh. Come on, trail. That's what we're trying to do, folks. Breaking things down earlier. <laughs> uh. Okay. Juicy, 
juice in it. Oh, no twisties. make a little bit more room here. We're still six inches short. We're back. I guess running it a day early is the way I have to do it. Man, I don't think I turned my camera off on that last one. So that means I got all kind of editing to do. Oh boy. We're just gonna huck this up the back here. Cause I don't feel like reorganizing. I need to get to the yard. I've been done messing around enough today. So we're just gonna go up and up. Not to mention, I'm on the wrong side of the road. Yeah, I know I'm not in the UK. I know you guys thought I might be, but I'm not. Still here in good old US of A. Look at that motor. I'll bet you that weighs a couple of pounds. bit of copper in there all right I'm gonna get do a, a quick overview here because the yard's just a complete disaster they got machinery all over the place but I was running out of battery life we've got we ran that bad back neighborhood we found four appliances a stove two two uh, dryers and a washer I wasn't able to film it because I'm running low on battery because I ran my camera when I was just driving around and didn't realize it was on but it is also a disaster in here. So I just want to get in, get out and not monkey around. So uh, hopefully I don't get run over by one of these cranes and I'll see you when we get, a, get over to uh, NFJ. Time for some NFJ. Look a little tired, look a little rugged today. You'd probably win. <laughs> I bet they do. Those things are heavy, man. Heavy on that? Why you gotta make it work so hard, Jeff? Hey, why, why, you <laughs> why you gotta make me work so hard, though? Because you gotta have good content for your surprise. Yeah. I don't really film breakdowns. Should. I should, but I don't. You're doing it wrong. Uh. Dude, I had more, there it is. Like I had more motors than that.
Motor's out, zeroed? Yeah. Yeah? Clean. Oh! That's heavy. I know it is. <laughs> no lights, no batteries. I'm kind of disappointed, Jeff. Huh? Said no lights, no batteries. I'm kind of disappointed. It better. I called TM. I called trademark today. They're at eleven and a half. Yeah. Eleven and a half, baby. I know. So if I'm bringing, what do I have in shred today? Thirteen hundred. A little over a thousand. I know that. Eleven eighty. Eleven eighty. So that's like thirty bucks almost. Yeah, but probably, probably at least fifteen bucks in gas. Down no. There. I'm efficient, man. I drive slow, I draft people. <laughs> exactly. I only turn right. <laughs> 1150, yeah. I called today just through there because my buddy up in Jacksonville, um, or my buddy over in Tampa said he's at 13 cents. Well, there's a port right there too. Yeah, I know. I mean, like Jacksonville's high. In uh, in uh, it's been 13 in uh, like Illinois for like a month. I know it's going to vary based upon where you're at, but I mean, yeah, Chicago? yeah well, outside of Chicago. Well, it's probably a port. Yeah. In Chicago, where they can ship it in between. Well, it's place. it's it's central, so I mean they can get. Yeah. They probably have access to a lot more stuff. Like I said, if we had a shredder here, we could pay at least a buck or so more. Right. Because the mills pay more when it's still small. Right. Buy yourself a shredder, man. You got like five million <laughs> for a car shredder. Serious. Come on, just buy a shredder. It's an investment, man. We had one here years ago. Yeah, but a bust. No, but they didn't go through the proper channels. Ah, just built it. Yeah, they're getting fined by the county every day. Right. You gotta have permits for that. Right. Yeah, I get it. Or like over a thousand yards of concrete, and you kind of need the permit. Yeah, well, I love it. All right, brother. I'll catch you tomorrow. Yeah. No I'm bringing as many baby batteries as I can find, Jeff. I've actually asked my subscribers to send me some. <laughs> All the batteries. Wow, 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 what a wacky day. So, sorry I wasn't able to film everything. It was, it was just a kind of, it was just one of them days. So, we ran our regular route and did mediocre at best, let's be honest. And so, I went and grabbed myself something to eat and I was gonna head to the yard and break down a couple of things that uh, could be broken down to uh, maximize return. And then I said, you know what, I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna run, the, Wednesday's my short day because the kids get out of school early. So um, there's some neighborhoods sometimes that I just miss. So I said, I'm gonna run the one that I tend to miss today. See if someone broke the rules, put their stuff out early. I think their homeowners, if they have one, is certainly more lenient than some of the other neighborhoods that I've run through. So I ran through. First street, wash machine. Plus the lady was like, hey, my husband renovates houses and he's looking for someone to help him out get rid of junk so left her my card and then i drove around with my camera on <laughs> draining all the life out of my battery <laughs> and then i found a stove loaded the stove up went to the next neighborhood found another washer drove further down the street found another washer it's like appliance city so you missed all that but i picked up all that and it was cuckoo crazy so any who's we ended up with 1180 pounds of tin at nine cents a pound, a buck six, 20. 
So uh, I called the other yard, the one that's downtown from me. Um, it's a further drive. It's got tolls, yada, yada. I'm not really a fan of it, to be honest with you. But they're paying 11 and a half cents. I've been talking with some other people and other people are breaking the double digits. Um, I said something to the scale a person. I said something to Jeff. Jeff said that he heard that they're gonna raise prices by the end of the week. So who knows, maybe we'll get to double digits here. Uh, as, as well as everybody else, but all I can do is just keep uh, keep griping until they uh, raise the price because <laughs> that's all you can do. Um, uh, heavy uh, irony that was all those those four blowers and the weed whacker and all that jazz. Uh, Fifty four pounds, twenty two cents a pound, eleven eighty eight. Electric motors those were half of. I didn't get all of them because I forgot. Of course, um, those are three of the electric motors that I got from the washing machine guy. I um, gave him a shredder and he paid me an electric motors. Um, I took one of them apart just to find out how much copper was in there versus trying to break it out. I'll make a little bit more if I break them down, but it takes cutting wheels, it takes time, it takes effort. And when it's all said and done, it's to me not worth breaking them down. So I turned them in as electric motors. Um, plus the one motor from the dishwasher. 22 pounds, 25 cents a pound, 5.50. That's not right. Each one of those motors, each one of the individual washing machine motors were supposed to be 12 pounds. What are you doing, Jeffy? So that would have been 12 pounds, that would have been 36 pounds, plus the dishwasher should have been closer to 40 pounds. Something's not right there. I'll have to talk to him tomorrow about that. Um, Clean aluminum, eight pounds, that one tray inside that grill, eight pounds, $4.40, 55 cents a pound. Total for the day, $127.98. I would have never thought we would break a hundred bucks. Uh, even with the stuff that I brought from the house, um, up until lunchtime even. I mean, the fact that we found four appliances late is just weird, just weird. It's just how it works, man. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Everything just, um, comes at the very end. I don't know why. That's just the way my, my streets work. It doesn't matter which way I run them. Forwards, backwards, upside down. That's just how they work. It's just bizarre. So I hope you enjoyed the adventure. Make sure to give us a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Oh, and if you haven't yet, I put out a video last night. Here is the ticket tag card, whatever you want to call it for that video. I think it's that side. Yeah, over here. Maybe it's over here. I don't know. It's, it's up here someplace. Um, go uh, make sure that you've got your guests in for the month. We are counting batteries. Baby batteries count double. So see how many batteries you think we'll have before the end of the month. Put your guests in and you could win yourself half May 2nd's run. So again, have a great afternoon. I'll see you all tomorrow. It's our short day. So we can you know, Maybe even title it Express Run because you've already run part of it. Um, so remember, it's nacho stuff, but that does not mean you can't take someone else's trash and turn it into cash. So until tomorrow, be safe, be happy, and I'll see y'all then.